I had another airplane at one time, I sold it, and I was given a free issue of the trade magazine, Trader Plane, with all airplanes for sale on it. I looked through it, which I hadn't done for years. And I'm partial to fabric airplanes and round motors and tail wheels. This airplane came up for sale with two round motors. I said, that's it right there. Went out and bought it. I got in it and flew it home. It was, I just felt like an old glove, just, just the way an airplane ought to start sound, feel, fly. Absolutely excellent. They, the designers back in 1939 did a wonderful job of harmonizing the controls. The aircraft has a wonderful, what we call a flight envelope. It stalls at 58 knots, which is about 65 miles an hour, and it flies at normal cruise speed at 140 knots, which is 165 miles an hour. I keep it on my farm with a dirt strip of 2,400 feet, and with one stop from New York City, I can be in Miami Beach. It's a wonderful airplane. It actually burns 15 gallons an hour per engine, so I have 30 gallons an hour total fuel burn. We'll say it flies at 150 knots. It gives me a wonderful miles per gallon of five. This is called a Cessna T-50, but it was the pre-war 310. There were 43 built. The war broke out. The government liked it so well, they said, make us another 5,300 airplanes. The pilots use this as a transition airplane to go into the B-24s, B-25s, B-17s. This was their original Mole engine work. Not many people around these days remember that part of the airplane, but it also became famous to anybody of our age because back in the 50s, there was a television TV series called Sky King, and the name of his airplane was the Songbird. This is the Songbird right here. Not this particular airplane, but this type of airplane. By the time this came out the door in February of 1944, which is one month before they stopped production in March of 44, there were 5,399 airplanes built. None since. I know of 18 which could fly. There may be a couple others somewhere, but uh, obviously uh, less than two dozen airplanes as we speak in the summer of uh, 2009 or less than 20 airplanes left out of 5,400. An airplane of this uh, vintage takes tender loving care, the same as I do at my age. That's all there is to it. It takes a lot of maintenance. Uh, one has to be dedicated to do so. I do all my own the best I can. It's, I say, not too bad, but one has to love it because it's constant. That's all there is to it. I mean, the engines have been upgraded. Uh, they were originally 225 horsepower apiece. These are 275 horsepower, so there's 50 horsepower an engine aside. It makes a big difference in the single engine capability but it's not particularly good, but it will fly on one engine. Wife and I use this as an aerial recreational vehicle. We come out here to this uh, antique fly-in once a year. Other than that, we just use that as anybody else would use it for their RV, hop in it, go someplace for a weekend, put the airplane in the hangar, and enjoy ourselves at the mountains, the beach, anywhere else we want to go. I've been coming here now for 10 years to Blakesburg, to the Antique Air Airplane Association. Uh, it's a wonderful get-together of people who think the way I do. We like antique airplanes, and we go to any length necessary to keep them running. And we just, as most people say, we don't own them. We're just a caretakers, and we pass on ownership to the next person after we pass on. The airplanes bring me here, but it's the people who bring me back. And that's absolutely correct. It's the people who bring us back. Wonderful people, yes. They don't get any better. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com.